Hello everyone, this is Teacher Newton and here is another edition of Improve Your English, Melhore Seu Inglês Podcast. On the Melhore Seu Inglês, Improve Your English Podcast of today, we're going to see all, every and whole. All, every and whole. How do we use these words? So first, let's see how we use all and everybody or everyone. We do not normally use all to mean everybody or everyone. For example, everybody enjoyed the party, but we don't say all enjoyed the party. So in this case, again, everybody enjoyed the party. But we say all of us, all of you or all of them. And not everybody of us, everybody of you. This is wrong. So we say all of us, for example, all of us enjoyed the party. All of us enjoyed the party. Not everybody of us. All and everything. So sometimes you can use all or everything. For example, I will do all I can to help. Or I will do everything I can to help. Again, I will do all I can to help, or I will do everything I can to help. You can say all I can, or all you need, etc., but we do not normally use all alone. He thinks he knows everything, not he knows all. We say he thinks he knows everything. Our holiday was a disaster. Everything went wrong. Everything went wrong. We don't say all went wrong. We say everything went wrong. But you can say all about. For example, he knows all about computers. He knows all about computers. We also use all and not everything to mean the only thing. For example, all I've eaten today is a sandwich. All I've eaten today is a sandwich which is the same as the only thing I've eaten today. And how do we use every, everybody, everyone, everything? Well, every, everybody, everyone, and everything are singular words, so we use a singular verb. Every seat in the theater was taken. Every seat in the theater was taken. Everybody has arrived. Everybody has arrived and not have arrived. Okay, we use as a singular word. But you can use they, them, there, after everybody or everyone. For example, everybody said they enjoyed themselves. Everybody said they enjoyed themselves, which is the same as he or she enjoyed himself or herself. Whole and all. Whole is the same as complete, entire. Most often we use whole with singular nouns. For example, did you read the whole book? Did you read the whole book? All the book, not just a part of it. Emily has lived her whole life in Scotland. Emily, Emily has lived her whole life in Scotland. I was so hungry, I ate the whole packet of biscuits. I was so hungry, I ate the whole packet of biscuits. A complete packet. We use the, my, her, etc. before whole. Let's compare whole and all. The whole book, which is the same as all the book. Her whole life, which is the same as all her life. We do not normally use whole with uncountable nouns. We say, for example, I've spent all my money you gave me. I've spent all my money you gave me, and not the whole money. Now let's see every all whole with time words. We use every to say how often something happens. For example, every day, every Monday every 10 minutes, every three weeks, etc. When we were on holiday, we went to the beach every day. When we were on holiday, we went to the beach every day. And we don't say here all days. The bus service is excellent. 
There is a bus every 10 minutes. The bus service is excellent. There is a bus every 10 minutes. We don't see each other very often, about every six months. We don't see each other very often, about every six months. So in this case here, every means how often something happens. All day, the whole day, is the same as the complete day from beginning to end. We spent all day on the beach. We spent the whole day on the beach. So in this case, you stay all day during all the complete day on the beach. Dan was very quiet. He didn't say a word all evening. Dan was very quiet. He didn't say a word the whole evening. Note that we say all day, not all the day, all week and not all the week, etc. Now compare all the time and every time. They never go out. They are at home all the time. They never go out. They are at home all the time. It's the same as always, continuously. Every time I see you, you look different. Every time I see you, you look different. In this case, every time is the same as each time or on every occasion. And that's it for today, folks. And this was the Melhor Seu Inglês podcast of this week. Please follow us on Instagram, Melhor Seu Inglês, and visit our YouTube channel, Melhor Seu Inglês, which has more than 900 English video classes. For anyone interested in Skype classes focus on conversation, please contact me, Teacher Newton, or Teacher Erica. Keep studying English and see you on the next episode of Improve Your English Podcast.